Well, hello everyone. How's it going? Sorry about the delay in getting the video out. Uh, Sander showed up on uh, late, late, late fr Friday night. It was dark and I couldn't, I couldn't video a meetup because it was dark and I couldn't see anything. So didn't get to do that. But uh, the next day, um, uh, you know, we got up and uh, we were actually up pretty late, so we didn't get get up that early. But we got up and we started working on the truck and everything and that, but it, it turned into a bit of a gong show. Uh, we ended up, we had to go down and get some pro parts, propane parts for the truck um, at the auto propane store and uh, that was down in Nanaimo. We had to run down there and get that. We had to run to a few different places just to find the parts we needed and everything. And finally, finally, we got those parts and we ended up coming home and it was like, dinner time by the time we got home so we just uh, put everything aside and decided we'll just uh, have dinner and stuff and uh, and then uh, just get on it uh, the next day uh, which is today Sunday today Sunday and uh, we're gonna get working on that as soon as Sandra gets up out of, bit, out of bed and uh, yeah, we'll be working on that. Uh, but last night, uh, it was crazy. If I didn't have bad luck again, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Everything keeps going wrong and happening. But so last night, uh, I ran out of propane, of all things. I didn't even know it was that low. So I ran out of propane, woke up really cold. It was, uh, I don't know, I think it was 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning, probably 3 in the morning, 3.30. Woke up cold, freezing, and it was like, wow, I've got no heat. Uh, so then I decided we, we needed to put the ceramic heaters back, my ceramic heater back in here, and Cassandor had the other ceramic heater in the Toyota 4Runner. And uh, so I put the other ceramic heater in here, and uh, I think I've told you before, I've only got a 15 amp uh, breaker for the camper, We've got two ceramic heaters, and that's actually up to 3,000 uh, 3, watts. And so I'm on a 15 amp uh, breaker. So the heater kept uh, So I, what I had to do is I had to run a cord um, all the way from the building to the Toyota Forerunner for his ceramic heater, and then uh, use the um, power cord that I'm already using on, on the front of the building for my ceramic heater and uh, so that finally started functioning and uh, we got so it, both he, both ceramic heaters were working all night he was warm in the toilet up and uh, mine seemed to work all night it popped the breaker a couple of times and I got up and uh, put it back on and after the third time it, uh, it decided just to stay on again so that was lucky but it still barely took the edge off the cold in here last night and I woke up really cold and everything. And uh, basically, this is what it looked like when I went outside in the morning. Wow. Everything's frozen over here. The stairs are frozen. Everything's frozen. Oh. There's my Toyota 4Runner again. Sandor's sleeping in there. <coughs> Sandor's sleeping in there. <sighs> everything's frozen up solid. <laughs> Real frosty and frozen, everything is. Wow, that's cold, man. That's crazy running out of propane like that. Wow. That's insane. Oh, man, it's cold out here. Run out of propane. Oh. Oh, that was frosty cold. Oh, my God. And, uh, Sandor's here. He's got the heater in the truck with the power cord there. He's all toasty warm and... Uh, thank God for that. I wouldn't want him to freeze to death. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> oh my God, that was cold. That was cold. Holy cow. Anyway, I'm going to go in, uh, make some coffee and uh, try and warm up. Ciao for now. So if you notice on top of the Forerunner, it's, uh, there's no ice on top at all. It's actually wet. So that means the heater's working inside and so Sandor's fine. He's still asleep, he's toasty warm, and I know that it's warm in there, and it didn't, he didn't get frozen, so that's just proof right there on top of the 4Runner. 
Oh, and there's trouble again. There's trouble. <laughs> and there, see? My tires are frozen. Everything's frozen out here, so he's he's good inside there. He'll be good. He'll be good. He'll be good. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna go get coffee. So here's the early part of Saturday, yesterday morning. Uh, this is kind of how it started out anyway. So this little boy, his name is Trouble, and he's baby's puppy, the first litter. He's from the first litter. He was the cutest one. <laughs> This is Trouble. This is Sandor's dog, Trouble. And uh, he got trouble from me when baby gave birth to the puppies. And uh, now Sandor and Trouble are coming back to visit and uh, work on our truck and get us back on our own. But this is Trouble. Hello, Trouble. Aren't you cute, Trouble? You're cute as you hear baby. Baby's bitching at him. She's got an attitude. <laughs> Hi, Trouble. Hello, Trouble. <laughs> Shut up, baby. Oh, poor trouble. Is baby a bitch? <laughs> okay. Baby, you're a bitch. Did you know that? You're a bitch. You're a bitch. <clears throat> okay, bye-bye. So I'm pretty stoked. Sandor's here from Carameas. He's here to help get my truck going and fix it and run, get it running. And the second love of my life is here, my Toyota 4Runner. I love this thing. Baby's first and then the Toyota. I love my dog and I love my truck. After that, nothing matters. I love this thing. It's so beautiful. It's indestructible. It just keeps going and going and going. Looks like a piece of shit. Looks like hell. But it just will not die. And we're going to keep this thing going forever. And that's Trouble. That's Baby's son Trouble there. He doesn't want to be in the truck. And he might have to turn me off because he's annoying. Anyway, I'm so stoked to see my Toyota 4Runner here. I gave it a big hug last night because he came in last night. And uh, I can't wait to get our truck running here and get things happening. This is cool. I love this. I'm going to go give my truck and my Toyota another hug again. <laughs> I love this unit. It's great. Ciao for now. Is it ready yet? <laughs> He's ignoring me. <laughs> what? That's weird. Yeah. That's, That's really weird. It was running great. Strange, eh? <laughs> Hey, back to the drawing board, I guess. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. We need that fucking gauge fix. We gotta check the, uh... Yeah. I gotta check the, uh... The fuel pressure regulator. Okay, we'll get back here. And let you know what's happening. Ciao. So here we go, Sandor's been on this uh, barely an hour and he's already got the thing running and going. He's just got to figure out what the, the glitches are in the fuel system because we can switch back and forth from propane to gasoline. And there's a problem with that switch over and the fuel pump system and, uh, and something else in there, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, so anyway, once we get sorted, that sorted out, why it won't switch back and forth properly and keep running uh, we'll be back on the road and here's my Toyota again I love this Toyota man it looks like a piece of crap man but it it'll never die it just keeps going and going and going oh there goes the truck it died again see something up with the fuel so we just it's it, it'll work it's a great truck it's it's got everything going for it 
Just got to find out what it is with the combination fuel. Well, well we got it. Uh, it's a uh, fuel pressure regulator we have to get. Fuel pressure regulator. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And that's good to go. Then we're going to get the propane running. And that's it. You can just start your journey. Right on. Instead of living in On the road. Living in someone's Baby and me, tiny house on wheels on the road again. Living in someone's parking lot. <laughs> that's right, eh? Yeah, you got it, Pontiac. <laughs> Glad to see you're back again, Sandor, man. It's been oh, a year and a half. To, we're not supposed to advertise. Oh, yeah, well, put your hand over the label. <laughs> oh, I'll talk to you later. Ciao for now. I love dogs. I love them more than anything. But mm -hmm. I've never had a dog like this. Mm. I've never had a dog like this. Here we got uh, baby's little boy trouble. Her little boy. Isn't he cute? He's cute as hell. We're going to share baby's food with him. With him. Yeah. See if he likes it. Oh, of course he does. Look at that. He grabbed it. Yeah, there you go. Trouble, how do you like to share baby's food with you? Huh? Isn't that good of Uncle Kent? Isn't that great of Uncle Kent? Yeah. Mm, I love both of my puppies. So, now that we're done that, now the adults can eat. The kids are taken care of, the adults can eat. There we go. Talk to you in a bit. I just thought I'd show you this. Uh, this is how special my little baby girl is. She's got a heart on her bum. <laughs> and uh, only a few people have recognized that. But this here is the shape of a heart on her backside. Move your head, little girl. <laughs> See? Anyway. Come here. Come here. We're trying to show people. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, anyway. I hope you got an idea of that. But she's got a heart shape spot on her behind and only two other people other than myself have actually noticed that and it's cool because i don't know she's my little service dog natural service dog and she's the love of my life and my best little buddy and everything and she's got a heart on her so i don't know that's kind of special anyway i just thought you'd find that interesting and we gotta go do something else right ciao for now So that's uh, basically how uh, uh, Saturday kind of started out, and uh, and then the evening ended afterwards. And after we ran around, ran around all day, trying to find the parts and everything for the propane parts for the truck. Um, and I just didn't think uh, it was worth videotaping us running around for parts. I didn't find anything exciting in it. So that's the morning and the evening, and then uh, I showed you before that. How uh, today started out was freezing cold and was uh, very cold and that and kind of miserable. And then uh, just after the, this morning, I had to run around. Uh, I went had to run up to uh, Qualicum to meet up with a friend to return some items and that. And uh, for some strange reason, I lost my phone. Another phone situation, an issue. So I lost my phone. And uh, so I spent the rest of today just running all over the place. Uh, I had to run down to Nanaimo and go to the Virgin store and uh, replace my phone. And that took like uh, like two and a half hours. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why everything takes so long with me and why I have such wonderful luck. But um, yeah, so that took all the day. Sandor was here and stayed here and worked on the truck and everything. Got a lot of done on his end, which was great. That was fantastic. I can't say enough thanks to Sandor for all the work and stuff he's done. It's so good. And uh, so, you know, I just wasted most of my day running around trying to get a new phone, right? And it's basically 45 minute drive to Nanaimo and a 45 back. So it's an hour and a half plus the two and a half hours to get my phone. It was, we wasted our afternoon. But anyway, I got a brand new phone, and this is actually a Samsung, which I'm actually recording on right now. So that was an up, a total upgrade for me, which is great. So in the end, the negative situation turned into positive. So anyway, uh, I guess that's the end of today. <laughs>
<clears throat> so now it's Monday night, <laughs> and uh, basically we had to spend the whole day busting our asses and working like dogs and making up for the last two days, Saturday and Sunday, I should say, for all the screw-ups and mess-ups and all the time we wasted, or I wasted, and uh, didn't get anything done. So we just had to work like dogs today. And I didn't even have time to stop and video anything, not what everything, anything at all. So anyway, we today we got a lot accomplished. Um, we got the truck running on propane. And uh, I'm going to fill that up, go down and fill the whole tank up with more propane. And um, then we still just have to figure out the gasoline issue. Uh, but the truck's running on propane and uh, it's mobile and everything. And then on top of that, I got my Toyota 4Runner back. Yay. I, I can't, I'm so stoked about that. I got the 4Runner back and I gave, um, gave Sandor my, uh, my blue Oldsmobile car that you've seen me driving around. So he's got my Oldsmobile now. I got my 4Runner back, and that's great. I'm going to go out and do some 4 by 4 all over the place soon in the next couple of days here. This is going to be a blast. I can't wait. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, we got a lot accomplished. Uh, sorry I couldn't video anything, but it was we worked hard. I can't tell you how hard we worked. And on top of that, uh, I was so tired and worn out that I didn't even uh, video a, a goodbye <laughs> a clip for uh, seeing Sandor off. It just, it just didn't happen. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so, you know, a lot of things accomplished anyway. In the end, uh, a lot of work done and hard work. Um, too bad I couldn't share everything with you. But, uh, and again, I apologize for being... So late on getting a video out. This time it had nothing to do with my health at all. It was just like too many stupid things going wrong. And we just had a lot of hard work getting stuff done. Anyway, um, stuff's done. We're more or less back on track. We're getting making headway. And that's great. And we've got a lot of more exciting things coming up for you guys. Um, this is going to be great. We're going to get the camper on the road. We've got the truck running. We're going to do some uh, four by fouring videos. Um, it's going to be wonderful. So hopefully without any screw ups and days off and stuff like that, uh, we're going to bring you some more exciting stuff soon. And as soon as we get this camper on the road, which will be very soon, um, that'll be great because uh, I, I can't wait to get mobile again. I've been sitting around too long. I want to get on the road and it's going to be fantastic. And you guys are going to be in for a nice, wonderful journey with uh, baby and me tiny house on wheels <laughs> anyway again thank you sandor i can't thank you enough you're an amazing sandor is one of the best body men i've ever seen in my life and he's one of the best mechanics i've ever seen in my life and thank you sandor you did an amazing wonderful job and i'll see you in two weeks on uh, march 1st you're gonna show up for the puppies the puppies are being born the next day so i'm gonna see you in two weeks so Anyway, thank you everyone for watching and sorry for the delay, but um, I hope we're catching up. I hope you enjoyed what I just uh, showed you today and we got plenty more to come. So take care. I'm tired. I got to go to sleep, man. So take care and um, just keep watching. Thank you very much. Have a great night.